Hey everyone, welcome back to Open Road for Two. We are here at Mount Whitney Portal and we are going to start our adventure with a hike, see how far we can go and see where it takes us. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of a late start today. Would have liked to have gotten up here a little bit earlier, but uh, we'll see, we'll see how far we get. All right, let's head out on the trail and see what we find. Let's go. Let's The Lone Pine Lake hike follows the Mount Whitney Trail. It's a moderate hike, but very doable. You could complete it roughly in about three to four hours, and the total distance is about five to six miles. First pit stop along the trail. You're getting some quick elevation here on these switchbacks. We can feel the altitude. Beautiful scenery though. Quick water break. Sun's shining, it's hot in the sun. Cool in the shade, so. I already had to lose my sweatshirt. Yeah, he peeled off wish his first it, wish layer. Wish I had worn shorts too at this point. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a quick pit stop, keep going. But let me show you this view, it's pretty amazing. Just trying to be real about this one. We're three quarters of a mile in. It's taken us about 22 minutes or so to get up here. Um, take the warnings that, that they have at the bottom of the trail, especially, you know, where we're getting back into this, uh, into the hiking thing. So taking our time, resting often, getting some water and hydrating. So here on this marker, you're gonna stay on the Mount Whitney Trail and cross the little river crossing. Look at that. Well, All right, guys. Sucks. Um, so we come this far and we can't go any farther because the trail's closed and you know we like to follow rules and regulations um, that way they keep these trails open our rules and regulations for us to um, enjoy so yeah it says right here trail close let me show you so this is the way we want to go but the hiker notice posting says trail closed Boom, boom, boom. But hey, we got them this far and we get to enjoy it all the way back. See, I still have some um, hiker sheen going on. So I worked up a, a nice little workout here. Not me, not me, just her. <laughs> he, he's not glistening. No, but hey, it was so good so far. We got to see the nice waterfall, the creek. There's still a little snow um, up in the shaded areas. All in all, I, I say it was still it's a nice time out here. Short of being in Hawaii on, on a hike, this is probably the, my favorite hike we've had so far in, in California, for sure. I mean, this is gorgeous country. I mean, very you know, hopefully the, the, the video we're showing does it justice, but being out here is just amazing. And, and you know just, what? That just means we'll come back and we'll hike to Lone Pine Lake the next time. But absolutely. let's enjoy the hike back and um, take in some of the views on the way. So hi 
hiking back is a lot easier. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. Super easy. Still got to watch for like the little rocks along the way. Definitely pick up your feet if you're a shoe dragger. But all in all, this is such a beautiful hike. Um, we only, we've seen, what, three people along the trail. So it's usually heavily trafficked, not too bad right now. But um, yeah, this is definitely one we want to come back to and finish all the way through. But so far, such a good day and it's not even done yet. We still got more planned for this open road for two adventure. Let's do it. Stay tuned. How are you liking it? It was a good hike. I had a lot of t a lot of fun. Next yeah. time we'll go all the way though. Yeah, definitely. When the trail's have to go open. All the way, all the way up there. We all the way. We were. Can you see my finger? Or above my head? Is it above my head? <laughs> no, you're not even in. The oh. Video. Man, you're not even in the video. No, but it's all the way up there was where we would have liked to have gone with the lake. But like we said, we we obey the rules. Next time. Thumbs up for this trail. <laughs> Open road for two approval. <laughs> well, we're back in the parking lot. See, we're smiling. Are you smiling? I'm smiling. That was fun. But the facilities were closed. Um, they said the bathrooms were going to be open, but they're locked for some reason. So we're going to head into town to see if we can find a restroom before we head into Alabama Hills to to camp. So let's see if we can find something. Beginning in 1920, Hollywood filmmakers began to take an interest in the Alabama Hills for its natural scenery. Since then, over 400 movies have been filmed here. We just turned on to Movie Flat Road and we're heading down into the Alabama Hills. Looks like there's quite a few people out camping here on BLM land. We'll hopefully find something and pick a good spot with a good view and set up camp. So you might ask, why is it called Alabama Hills? Well, the hills were named after the CSS Alabama, a Confederate warship responsible for wreaking havoc during the Civil War. Prospectors sympathetic to the Confederate cause named their mining claims after the Alabama, and eventually the name stuck. So now we are just trying to see if we can find a spot to camp. There's actually, it's quite busy for a Sunday night. Much busier than we expected. I'm sure we'll find a spot though. It's just gonna have to drive around these trails and see what we can find. We found a spot here, but it's a little tricky because it's not even. So we are going to try to park the rear end first and get it as um, level as we can. So we got our camp all set up and uh, building a rig is always kind of a 
work in progress. You know, once you kind of decide on your Overland vehicle, you're always kind of making little improvements, and adding things and figuring out different ways to use things. And this spot that we got is very kind of uneven. And, you know, we've got our traction boards. We have them in case, obviously, we, we need to get out of a situation, but they also are very helpful in leveling out your truck. So you can see how we took a very uneven spot and made it almost perfectly level. I mean, the way we, it took a couple attempts, but but it actually, I mean, up in the tent, you can't even notice at all, like lean into one direction or, or another. So traction boards, not only just for getting you out of a jam, but leveling your truck when you need them. So great little pickup. And I recommend, that's one of the first things I'd recommend anybody pick up, you know, when you're going off the beaten path a little bit is to get those boards because you know, they're going to come in handy in more ways than one. After setting up, we decided to explore the rock formations surrounding our camp area. The fantastic shapes of the Alabama hills were formed by a combination of natural chemical weathering and wind erosion. So this is really reminding us of the rocks over in Joshua Tree. Um, same type of, I think this is the same type of granite, not sure, I'm gonna have to look that up. But so much area to explore, little nooks and crannies, little caves. It's really cool. We're gonna do the, the arch hike tomorrow. Um, we got here at camp, parking lot's just right over there. You can see all the cars there. Um, so we'll do that tomorrow. We're usually early risers, so we'll wake up early, have some breakfast and some coffee, coffee, and, and then get a hike in. Tackle that hike, but for tonight, it's a short one. Yeah, so. it's only I think it's only like a mile. Yeah, I don't even think it's that. But for now, we're going to just explore around here, head back to camp, make some dinner, and relax for the rest of the evening. We're gonna pop open a drink and oh yeah, you know we always do our cheers. So let's head back to camp. So we're here chilling back at camp, relaxing and enjoying this evening right Get, now. Getting a little chilly out though. So we had to put on our, our jackets and our hoodie here. Yeah, just getting a little, a little chill in the air. So we're warming up with... Beer 30. Cheers. We got a nice little fire ring here, but unfortunately we still can't, can't do the fires. We still got the fire ban, but got a little buddy here, Mr. Buddy, if we need it. Uh, keep us warm, and yeah. we got plenty of plenty of clothing and blankets and and warm like pajama clothes, yeah, um, beanies and whatnot. So if we'll need it, it's only supposed to get down to the 40s, so I don't think we'll need it, but no, we have it just in case. And we'll start dinner here um, shortly. We'll see what um, Chef Randy has on the menu. Little tri tip, leftover mm. tri tip from last night's dinner, but it's hey, gonna it'll be still good. Still be good the second go around, I'm sure. We always like to have fun camp meals. It's, it just doesn't have to be hamburgers and hot dogs, which there's nothing wrong with that at all, but. We do that sometimes too. Yeah, we just do like to mix it up sometimes and, and have fun with it, you yeah. know, try different things, so. Happy camper. Mm. Randy's a happy camper. Dinner is served. I'll tell you. Yeah, I'll tell you. Stater Brothers, the seasoning that they put on their uh, tri-tip is, it's awesome. So it's evening, we just got done with dinner. And I wanted to come show you. We're not really, you know, we, this is our first time here. But um, this is a really busy place this weekend, especially for Sunday. Take a look at this. So there's still some cars coming in on the main road, but you could see all the little pockets of people camping out there. There's all these roads that <clears throat> go in and out of Alabama Hills. And you can pick a spot to camp for free as long as it's not marked for rehabilitation. They have some signs marked, um, no camping beyond this point, because they do have areas that they're trying to rehabilitate um, the landscape and the plants. It is a great place to come out if 
you'd like to camp for free. So here's an area just down from our campsite where you used to be able to camp there. And there's a little sign right there on that stick that says no vehicles. And all these little plant areas that are wrapped. We saw some people earlier today putting some of these in some areas. So this would be an area that used to be open, but now they're trying to rehabilitate it. Okay, so we're testing out, like I said earlier, this Rock Pals 250 watt multi-purpose power station. I just plugged in my phone because um, we shoot all of our video on my iPhone. So we got this as a entry level to a Jackery because we're trying to keep our costs down since we're just starting out. And sure enough, it's working. So far, so good. We'll have a link to it um, in the description below, but this is a great alternative um, if you're just starting out and need some power for you know, your devices, iPad, phone. There you go, and there's the power button. Super cool, it's small, easy to pack with all your gear. So far, we like it. All right, so we moved into the cave with Mr. Buddy. And let me tell you, <laughs> short of having a fire, being in a cave with a Mr. Buddy, amazing. Works pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's toasty in here. So, perfect little camp spot uh, if you... There's no if, fire. If you can't do see. a fire. Can't see A cave it. and a buddy. Oh, it's toasty. starting to have trouble to focus. There we go. Yeah, no, thank it's... You, thank you, Mr. Buddy. Mr. Buddy is a, uh, a wise little investment, too, for, for the cold trips. Love it. Love, love it, it, love it, love it. After enjoying an evening in the cave with Mr. Buddy, we retreated to the rooftop tent to enjoy some Netflix movies. Good morning from Alabama Hills. Uh, we're up. It's probably about what time? Well, watching. Probably six, about 6 a.m. And we're going to have some coffee and some breakfast. It was a chilly night last night, but we made it through and the tent made it through. Uh, let's see what Randy's cooking. And just like that, we have cleaned up camp and practiced the principle of leave no trace. So our little cave for camp is back to the right way it was, the next person to use. to Mobius Arch. It's a really short little trail hike. And then we'll be on the road back home. We were gonna do this last night, but we saved it for today. We were kind of tired at the end of the day and you only wanna do as much as you're able to. You don't have to jam pack everything into one day. So here we go. Let's see what this arch looks like. And then when we get there, gonna share it with all of you, so stay tuned. We have found 
Mobius arch. There it is. So we finally made it to Mobius Arch. There it is. There it is. You can see the Eastern Sierras in the background. Can I get it in there a little bit? It's kind of like a, a natural picture frame for yeah. the Eastern Sierras there. Really beautiful spot. Only saw one other couple on the trail. A lot of people are still sleeping. We broke down camp early so that we can come here and kind of have this little peace and solitude and enjoy it. Yeah, not rushed by others. So the first arch was not Mobius Arch. I'll have to find out what that one was called. That was a fake me out, <laughs> for sure. But it sure is pretty. And there she is. So we are wrapping up this um, open road for two adventure. We started at beautiful Whitney Portal. Awesome trail, even though we couldn't make it all the way to Lone, Pi Lone Pine Lake, it was all right. We got a good two miles in, a nice workout with some beautiful, beautiful scenery. scenery. Um, really gorgeous, one of Randy's favorite hikes so far. Absolutely. Um, about two miles, so that was a good workout. And then we set up camp here in beautiful Alabama Hills, reminded us a lot of Joshua Tree National Park. Um, did some exploring. We had a wonderful little cave at our campsite that you saw. Even though we weren't allowed to do the fire, I mean, we had our little Mr. Mr. Buddy heater and uh, went, warmed us up, kept us warm through the night in that little cave. It was nice and cozy. And then we had a wonderful camp meal. What did you cook for us? Uh, Tri-tip surf and turf. Little yeah. shrimp, little tri-tips, some uh, grilled mushrooms and broccoli. Um, almost tasted better than like any other steakhouse, so it was fantastic. We like having fun with camp meals. And we um, had breakfast this morning. He made some sausage, leftover tri-tip, and some eggs. Can't let that tri-tip go to waste, that's for sure. And that's we enjoyed stuff. a wonderful cup of coffee with some pumpkin spice <laughs> creamer, so that just made the morning even better. It is fall, you know. You gotta go with the pumpkin. Gotta go with the season. And um, we're ending the day here with the Arch Trail in Alabama Hills. And Short we little... saw the... Mobius Arch? Yeah, Mobius Arch, so... And we saw a little bridge arch. And, yeah, a little uh, teeny tiny one. a couple other small ones along the way and that are still just forming, but it's just kind of cool to see. It's a quick little, what, about a mile? About mile, a mile or uh, so. Loop, so. Not, not, some, not anything too bad after breakfast, no. you know. Get that food digesting and feeling good, and we're um, going to be headed home now on the road. And we had an awesome time. Um, Alabama Hills will definitely be back because there's lots of off-roading trails to take up and to the, the hills and farther out. Yeah, we saw some, I mean, we'll, we'll try to get a shot of it here in a minute of some people way up on hills that... Are places that we didn't even get to but just alabama hills and in, in, in all you can spend a day out here mm -hmm. at least just exploring all the different areas so it's we'll definitely be back we hope you had fun with us coming along on this open road for two adventure we enjoyed having you and until next time we'll see you on the open road bye, bye.